Hey guys, so we have a reveal of a new LR over on Dokkan, JP Dokkan. We just had the Easy A Tech Kit details revealed, and now, just a few hours later, we have LR, Super Saiyan God Goku, and Hit releasing. Well, we know the details. I'm not sure when they're releasing, but I assume it's going to be within the next day or two, because it's typically what they do in terms of the timeline here. Uh, but they are STR, and they are Extreme Class. So let's see some people confused on why they're Extreme Class. I assume the reason why they're Extreme Class is because this unit is going to start out as a hit SSR. Um, and that's what we've seen with uh, the physical Frieza and Android 17, is they are an Extreme Class unit, even though obviously Android 17 is Super Class. Um, the reason being is because it starts out as a Frieza card, right? It goes Frieza SSR, Frieza TUR, in 217 and Frieza. I assume this one's going to be Hit SSR, Hit TUR, into uh, obviously God Goku and Hit uh, LR. So that's why they're Extreme Class, because Hit is always Extreme uh, for whatever reason. So this is what we're taking a look at here. Stats actually looking at them right away off the bat, look do they do look pretty good. Uh, 15.3k and 9.3k without uh, the hidden potential system. So, uh, because they're STR, I believe they get 5400 attack from the hidden potential system. So, they're going to end up getting, uh, like, what is that, like 20,000, basically 20,800 attack when they're rainbowed without skill orbs. And then defensively, they're at 14,300 defense without skill orbs. That is very good. Defense with uh, of over 14,000 on an LR, like that's that's really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at their details here. I did do the translation. So this is Hit and Super Saiyan God Goku Super Lightspeed Battle Outburst. So leader skill, they actually do introduce a new category to the game. High Speed Battle in Universe Survival Saga categories. Key plus four and HP attack and defense plus 150%. Yes, finally. We are getting the long-awaited leader for the Universe Survival Saga team. I know you guys were all very, very uh, eagerly awaiting the 27th leader for the team, so we have him finally here. Um, but high-speed battle, like what? Wh what is that? <laughs> That's like the most subjective name for a category I've ever heard of. Like, what battle in Dragon Ball was not high speed? Like, I, I don't know. Like, that, that's li I literally will not be able to tell you which characters are going to be on there. So. Like Birder, like Dispo, like, I don't know. So whatever, we'll, we'll see when that drops, but probably gonna be another one of these categories that doesn't really end up mattering at the end of the day. Uh, super attack effects, the 12 key, we have Goku and hits joint front, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage with a high chance to stun. Uh, so a high chance to stun is actually pretty, pretty good. And then that is a 30% chance to raise attack and defense for one turn. 18 key is the super high speed combination. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. And then that also has a high chance to stun um, as well here. So pretty good. Um, and then if we take a look at the actual passive here, the high speed advantage, he gets attack and defense plus 170% at the start of turn. That for an LR with stats as high as this guy, like that's really good. Um, just right off the bat, right? So that's the baseline that they'll always have whenever they enter the uh, enter the rotation. Then they get key plus six and an additional attack and defense plus 60% and attacks guaranteed to hit and disable enemy's guard. And they gain a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the first or second attacker in the turn. So that entire phrase right there, that entire sentence, that's all dependent on them being in the first or second slot in the turn. So that's six key, uh, an extra 60% attack and defense, guaranteed to hit, disable enemy's guard, and a 50% chance to evade as the first or second attacker in turn. That's a lot. Uh, that's a lot, but I would say like half of that stuff is irrelevant. Like attacks guaranteed to hit, sure it's useful, but it's only useful in like the final phases of like super long battles, like the legendary GT Goku event, the, the OG legendary Goku event. Um, like those, like some of the Infinite Dragon History bosses can also dodge. So it's not really super useful, but it's good to have it anyway. Um, and then the high chance to evade, I think, obviously, is probably the most impactful part of that because it's just a it's just a 50% chance to not take damage, which is obviously always really good. Um, but the six key, I think, is all actually probably the mo single most impactful thing about that because the the, the common element that you see across all the top tier LRs in Dokkan, this has been a theme that goes back all the way to the third year anniversary, is they all have some kind of, well, I guess for the most part, they all have some kind of key manipulation in their passive, some way to more easily get key uh, to super attack with. 
especially you know like this right hit and super saiyan god goku i mean they're not going to be on that many teams their links might be a little bit subpar um so the fact that they're just straight up getting six key from their passive is really good and that's reminiscent of the goku slash vegeta exchange unit we just got from the 350 million down celebration like the the namek uh vegeta that you know he dies in exchange to goku they have a similar mechanic to this and for anyone who's used that unit you know just how crazy powerful an ability like that is on an lr so I am really happy to see that they actually have some kind of um, key manipulation in this passive here. So then the next part, they gain key plus seven and an additional attack plus 70% and perform an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack as the third attacker on a turn. So if you want to push these guys out as a floater, I actually feel like they would work really well as a floater. And the main reason why I'm saying that is because of their super attack effects are really powerful, right? I mean, right off the bat, they're starting with 170% attack and defense. Then, assuming you're getting an 18 key super, which I don't think should be that bad because they're getting 7 key in slot 3, right? Um, they'll be able to get an additional 50% defense on top of that. And then if they, you know, do an additional super, because you're going to have the passive portion plus the hidden potential portion, you can super up to 2 more times, which is going to be an additional 30% raise each time you get an additional super there. So, defensively, they're going to be crazy, crazy strong uh, after they super attack, on top of the fact that they have over 14,000 defense, so... I think defense, honestly, might be this unit's forte, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be interested in seeing that. Um, and then the same thing goes for them being in the first or second slot, because not only are they getting 170% defense at the start of turn, not only are they getting the additional you know, 50% from their 18 key super attack effect, but they're also getting the extra 60% from just being in slot 1 and 2. So this unit is going to have like 350k plus defense, I would imagine, at rainbow, full link level 10, in slot 1 and 2 when they're super attacking. That's really, really powerful. Uh, they also have an active skill, the ever-growing combo. So the ability for this active skill, it actually reminds me a little bit of STR Videl's active skill, but the effect is a little bit different. So while STR Videl sacrifices defense to get a permanent, H, uh, permanent uh, attack buff, this unit just straight up gets a permanent attack and defense buff. Now it's only 13%. Get it, universe 7 plus universe 6. That's, that's the thing they're going for here. Um, but I mean, it's it's a 13% buff that is a you know an active skill type of buff. It's not just like an it's it's not like you're going into the phase with instead of 170% buff, you're not going in with 183%. It's going to be much higher than that. So uh, I feel like you know people are going to look at that active skill and say, oh well, it's only you know 13%. It's not that good. Well, actually, it's it's <laughs> it's going to feel a lot better than that. Uh, but the conditions, so you're able to use this after three super attacks are launched, and HP is 76% or below once only. Um, so granted that this unit can perform additional supers as a third attacker in a turn, I feel like the what you actually might want to do for this unit is you might want to float them off until they're able to get this active skill, and then once they get this active, you can maybe just push them onto main rotation. That might be what you want to do here, because you're going to be able to power them up, and then you power them up to the point where they're going to be, you know, by far good enough to leave them on main rotation. Um, once they have the active skill effect active, and then you just leave them there, right? So that might be a, a, a strategy you want to use with these guys, but who knows? I mean, if you're going to have them in slot 1 and 2, it's going to take you quite a while <laughs> to get three supers off, unless you're specifically building them with additionals and hidden potential system, which I probably don't think is correct. Um, just because they have, like, no crit in their kit anywhere. They have, like, no additional except for being in slot 3. I mean, there probably is a little bit of merit to giving them additionals, but I still think crit is probably better. Um, I don't think the 76% the, the HP threshold is that big of a deal. We see how easy it is to get below that number with units like STR Vegito, for example, so not that bad. And then we get to the links here. Now, this is where things get interesting. Tournament of Power. Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. So if you guys are paying attention, again, like I mentioned earlier, they literally just revealed the EZA for Tech Hit. And if we go ahead and take a look at Tech Hit's Link set, he has six out of seven links of this unit. <laughs> so I was talk like, the, the video that I made on Tech Hit is already outdated because his best linking partner is literally right here. They just released them. So... He actually shares all links with them except for Warriors of Universe 6. So he's going to have Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, In Fighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Tournament of Power active with this, with this unit. Now the only thing 
The only thing that I would say kind of hurts the tech hit if you want to use him next to this LR is the fact that this LR is not on Universe 6 category, and hit gets extra buffs dependent on how many Universe 6 category allies are attacking in the same turn. So that is going to hurt the tech hit a little bit, but given all the synergy that this tech hit has with the hit and Goku LR, I feel like it's probably worth sacrificing that uh, that's that like extra buff that he's getting just to have him next to them. They just pair up super well, and that's going to help the LR a lot as well. And then the final link for the LR, obviously, is Legendary Power, which you can probably just activate with a floating LR unit, because this <laughs> the, the Universe Survival Saga has like 7 million LRs on it. Um, and then their categories, yeah, this is the like the main thing I, I was saying about this character, because this is actually a character, right, Hit and Super Saiyan God Goku, this is a combination character that I've been saying that I've wanted for a very, very long time, so I'm really happy that they're finally introducing them. But I've always said, like, the one downfall of this character, if they ever release them, is going to be their categories, right? So we have High Speed Battle, which is the new one. Again, I have no idea what that's going to be about. We have Universe Survival Saga, Join Forces, and Legendary Existence. So Legendary Existence should be interesting, actually. I mean, you can use him with... Uh, the attack hit is going to be on there as well. Um, I I guess the main thing you're looking for with this is Shocking Speed. Like, which, which characters on these categories is this unit sharing Shocking Speed with? Um, Join Forces is just kind of like there at this point. And, uh, but Universe Five Saga, I mean, obviously, it's like the main team you're going to be using here, right? This unit coming in with um, Tournament of Power Link, plus the extra key he's getting from his passive. Like, this unit is going to be starting with 15 key pretty much every single turn um, on that uh, Universe Five Saga team. So that, in addition to the fact that most of the really top-tier Universe Five Saga category units, like LRUI Goku, have shocking speed. So... Realistically, he's going to be starting with 17 key, this this LR is. So they're already looking really good. So that's pretty much everything I want to say about this. I mean, let's just take a quick look at the actual Universe Survival Saga team just to show you guys like how they're going to work with the other units. Like, Let's just pull up this guy, for example. I talked about LRUI Goku for a second, Evolution Blue Vegeta we could talk about. So for example, like this guy, I don't know how well are they going to... I mean, yeah, so this uh, LR17 and Golden Freeze also have Shocking Speed. Obviously, they have Tournament of Power. Um, for, so they're going to share four links with these guys. Pretty decent. Uh, UI Goku, I mean, he's going to have Shocking Speed, Tournament of Power, Legendary Power, First Battle. So that's, again, four links there. Um, Vegeta does not have Shocking Speed, so they're not going to link up as well with him. But still going to be sharing three out of seven, Tournament of Power, Legendary Power, First Battle. So I feel like, you know, they, they actually do work pretty well with a lot of these Universe Survival Saga category units. So... Let me know down below what you guys think about this character. I feel like these guys are definitely like a, tw a, a late 2021 LR. You can definitely see from the kit here that like they're not holding back with this unit. They're not like, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking at this kit and I'm like, oh, they're bad or anything like that. Like, I, th I think they're 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 going to be very, very powerful in long and short events, right? Because in long events, you're obviously going to be able to get this active skill off pretty much every single time. Um, but in short events, their defense and offense is going to be at a level where I think they're competitive with a lot of the top three units in the game. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, let me know down below your thoughts, and I'll see you all in the next one.